The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. Many people hear the term DISC or um, have read about the DISC problems in the back. DISC problems oftentimes can lead to surgery. So many people come to us asking, well, what, what is a DISC and, and what does it do and what can go wrong with it? Uh, if you look at the model here, uh, the DISCs are soft spacers between every uh, vertebral body. They serve to accept shock, allow motion, and generally uh, they do their job very well. What can go wrong with a disc is they can eventually uh, rupture, that is the soft inner portion, can extrude through the uh, tough outer rings and put pressure on a nerve. That uh, is usually sudden and severe and involves leg pain in most, most cases. Um, they can also bulge. Sometimes bulges hurt. Most times bulges don't hurt. Most of us, if we put pressure on a soft tissue, it will bulge and uh, the consequences are usually uh, not felt. Uh, we can also have just annular tears. The ligamentous uh, substance that surrounds the disc can begin to tear uh, prior to a rupture and that tear itself can be painful. So we, uh, we spend a lot of time, we pay a lot of attention to things which look to us to be uh, disc uh, generating pain in the back. One of the problems with the back pain is since the pain can be uh, really debilitating to your life activities, is you don't know how serious an injury is. All you know is that there's a great deal of pain, you can't do what you used to do, and you don't know how long it will last, you don't know whether it's serious or not, or whether it'll go away in tomorrow or a week. Uh, when we look at a person with back pain, there are some things that catch our attention. Red flags that you should know are if you have any incontinence, uh, if you have any crotch numbness, saddle numbness we call it, or if you have any weakness in your, uh, in your feet and you can't hold your foot up or you hear it flop when you walk, something we call drop foot. This indicates that there's uh, severe pressure on a nerve and in that case, uh, if we saw it, we would get you to a physician straight away. Uh, if you sense those symptoms in yourself, uh, it's not a time for physical therapy. You need a good doctor's evaluation. Oftentimes, if treatment is uh, undertaken quickly, those symptoms can uh, be relieved. But if they're ignored, sometimes those symptoms become uh, permanent. Other things that we look at in physical therapy would be uh, pain that goes down one leg all the way to the foot, uh, definite numbness in one side of the foot or the other. Uh, very frequently, back pain will radiate diffusely into the hips. That uh, we don't take as seriously, although it's painful, it doesn't represent a, a, a serious pathology. Other serious types of back pain would be pain which wakes you up at night, pain which is accompanied by severe weight loss uh, or rapid weight loss, uh, and then uh, pain which is uh, extreme, unrelenting, and just doesn't uh, get better for several days. Uh, these, these are conditions where we would encourage you to see your physician uh, and get that uh, pain evaluated diagnostically uh, perhaps with uh, at least x-rays or an MRI. Frequently patients come to us and uh, they've been told that they have a degenerative process in the back. And that sounds very permanent and uh, quite frankly people are scared that they're not going to be able to do the things they did before for the rest of their life. As we age we tend to dehydrate and the discs are no different. They tend to settle, they tend to collapse, this thrusts more weight onto the uh, bone, bony joints of the spine, and they can become arthritic. Uh, that degenerative process, however, um, is common in, in, in almost all of us uh, with advancing years, and we find that it, it is not, uh, we find that as we uh, work with people, that although there may be quite a few uh, areas of degeneration in the spine, 
that usually only one or two are causing the pain. And if we can restore joint motion, if we can restore some strength, if we can correct some posture, uh, then we find that people can reduce their pain. Uh, I keep an x-ray in my office in front of me of a spine which is just terrible. It's uh, uh, twisted, there's bone spurs, it just looks like there should be a great deal of pain. And I keep that x-ray up in front of uh, my desk to remind me that that person actually went from painful to pain-free in five visits. Uh, that's not to say that everybody will get pain-free in five visits, but it is to say that we don't treat x-rays, we treat people. And uh, while x-rays may be severe and degeneration may be severe, it does not mean that pain uh, can't be uh, treated successfully and uh, in many times reduced significantly. When you go to a physical therapist uh, with back pain, the first thing that uh, they will do is a thorough evaluation. They'll take a look at your posture. They'll look at the mobility of the joints of the spine. Uh, they'll do a neurological check. Um, they'll look at the strength of your back, your core, your legs. Uh, they do uh, uh, just a, a universal look at how you move and uh, uh, what part your, your back plays in that. Addressing deficits uh, will be the job of subsequent visits. Uh, we may apply manual treatment to your back. We may mobilize the spine, the joints of the spine. Uh, we may do uh, ascribe, prescribe exercises for you, uh, which you will do at home. Your part would be to perform those exercises diligently. Our part would be to help guide you through that. Oftentimes, uh, much of the treatment is done at home. You don't need to come into the, to the clinic. Uh, but we do bring you in periodically to uh, apply sometimes manual therapy. We'll do deep tissue releases. Uh, sometimes we'll utilize modalities, ultrasound or electrical stimulation to help relax the muscles so that you can move uh, better again. The goal of all that is to restore motion, to restore strength, to improve posture, and to balance your muscular system so that you can better maintain a healthy back on your own without the need of a medical professional. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.